They could have gone with Shapiro and really played to win. Seemingly, this pick, maybe they think they can play to win. But boy, it doesn't seem it to me. This seems like just a huge unforced error caving to the anti-Semitic part of the, this, um, this party, which this wing, I, I guess, is much bigger than even we thought it was. For me, that's what this says, to pick this guy. Um, and it also says to me that, <clears throat> that the Trump campaign now has a very clear job to do and a very clear distinction to draw. And they've got all the tools and the facts on their side to draw it. You cannot let the media frame this guy as they're trying to do with her, as she's tried to flip-flop on every position she's had, walk back every position she's had, drop every position she's had. They're out in full effect tonight to try to do the same with him. He's a good old middle America, kind of same as J.D. Vance. He's taking shots at J.D. Vance tonight. J.D.'s going to get off the couch and all this nonsense to come debate me. J.D. Vance will wipe the floor with this guy. Number one on his military service alone, not even comparable. Guy who served versus a guy who ran. Economy, spend ourselves into oblivion, go back to the Trump years. Crime, no question. The distinctions are so clear. Conservatism, freedom, liberty on the ballot on one side, Constitution on one side, anarchy, tyranny, progressivism, Marxism on the ballot on the other side. It could not be more clear for the Trump campaign to stay on message. And these are the kind of messages that we need to see. Please welcome President Ronald Reagan, who has a few questions for you. All of you will go to the polls who stand there in the polling place and make a decision. I think when you make that decision, it might be well if you would ask yourself, are you better off than you were four years ago? Is it easier for you to go and buy things in the stores than it was four years ago? Is there more or less unemployment in the country than there was four years ago? Is America as respected throughout the world as it was? Do you feel that our security is as safe, that we're as strong as we were four years ago. If you don't think that this course that we've been on for the last four years is what you would like to see us follow for the next four, then I could suggest another choice that you have. President Trump, he'll make America great again. That, that's a great ad. That is a great ad. That's a great ad. And that's the messaging. Take Biden yeah. out, put Kamala and Waltz in there, get some pictures of Minnesota burning to the ground. I think they've already released one of them. Get some interviews from the people on the ground in Minnesota that are business owners that have lived under the tyranny of this guy as governor. This is a guy who comes out today. I think I have this clip as well. In, in this speech, uh, who's talking about neighbors and talking about what we respect in minnesota here here's this clown today i see those old white guys some of us are old enough to remember when it was republicans who were talking about freedom it turns out now what they meant was the government should be free to invade your doctor's office In Minnesota, we respect our neighbors and their personal choices that they make. Mm -hmm. Except Mm -hmm. when this guy sets up a snitch line during COVID so that you, neighbor, can snitch on your other neighbor and say, hey, he's not wearing his mask or he's not doing this with a jail sentence then pending, thanks to a guy like this. That's the kind of tyranny his iron fist oversaw in Minnesota. We respect our neighbors. What the hell is he talking about? 